Hello guys, it's uh, about 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I ended up uh, sleeping most all day because I, I just got off work at nights but now I've got uh, a bunch of days in a row off from work and so I'm up and I'm awake now finally um, but it's almost a little too late in the day probably to go cut firewood so um, it's also really nice outside today it's almost 40 degrees so it's the warmest it's been here in probably a week and a half two weeks and so I'm wanting to do something outside and uh, I figured I'd uh, come out and top off my wood boiler and then see if I can split some of my firewood that we cut in our last video um, I don't know about those big rounds because I'm gonna have to use my splitter in the vertical position but I can split all the normal stuff and maybe a few big rounds and I'm kind of wondering if they'll uh, that first time you drive the splitter wedge down into them if they'll crack in half good and then they're not as heavy or if they're gonna be uh, a bearcat so to speak um, but I figured let's let's feed our wood boiler here and then I, I want to ask a question too to the guys that got wood boilers about my ash troll or my sort of like my uh, pH balancer that you mix with the ashes and see if I'm using enough or what you guys think boiler looks like it's right at its set point of 185 and I last fed it at about 7 or 7.30 this morning it's 4 o'clock right now 3.59 so it's got about 9 hours on it and it's still got a lot of a lot of wood left in it. I don't know if you can see very good but we've still still got quite a bit of wood in there just sitting there smothering ourselves because uh, it's so warm out today that it's not using uh, a whole lot of heat to uh, to heat my house. Our little fill indicator looks like we're still in a good spot. It's been sitting there for the last month and a half. But let's see if we can stir the coals around a little bit and uh, maybe top it off here and throw some firewood in there. I want to ask you guys the other the other thing I do. This is an honest question here because I'm not sure. I'm wondering what your opinions are on it. This I don't know if you can see this stuff here, but it's called uh, Ash Troll by Central Boiler. Um, and every time I load this, which is approximately every 12 hours, I throw in about three quarters of a scoop or a scoop of this, which is what my dealer told me. And um, it's supposed to neutralize the acidity in the ashes in there that way it's not hard on your firebox but my question is um, I looked this stuff up and the cheapest I can find it online is about 28 to 30 bucks but then it's got 18 bucks shipping and handling and um, so in other words it's like 48 bucks and I can get I think at the rate I'm using it about two months or so worth of use off of this thing it's, it's pretty dirty but it's still right here and I've been using it uh, about a month and a half at this point um, so it's like 48 bucks free shipping off of Amazon um, but my question is how important is it do I do I need it you know we want to protect my investment we don't want it rusting but uh, maybe can I use half a scoop each time do you guys use it where do you get it from can you find it for a cheaper price I'm kind of uh, getting stingy, and I'm hoping for a, I don't know, maybe a $130 heating bill this month in uh, December, which would be pretty awesome. Um, all that's electric and heating and everything, but then if I got to spend 25 bucks on that, you know, I'm, I know it's not much, but I'm trying to be stingy. So, 
if, uh, if you guys got an outdoor wood boiler and you know how necessary that stuff is or a better place to get it, um, maybe leave me a comment or something. I'd appreciate it. This is the uh, state of our wood pile here. And this is the, right here on this side, is the drier stuff that I've been burning into. I know it looks a little bit dirty because I pushed it over on a kind of a pile there, or wind rode it up with the, my little tractor bucket. And then here's here's the ash. I think I think that's some uh, walnut, them darker ones that are just right on the edge here. Uh, most of that ash back in there is probably good to go. Um, here's some of those nice ash rounds that we got the other day about a, a little less than a week ago and I figured I'd uh, see if I could get my old splitter running here and let it warm up a little bit I just topped off the gas and checked the oil in it here and split some of these rounds and I bet you I bet you like this one here I bet you is a hundred pounds plus maybe a hundred to 130 would be a guess or maybe 80 to 120 so I'm gonna have to end up just rolling that over there and splitting it in a vertical position and then when you make your first split you're just hoping it busts it in half that way you're you got half the weight to deal with um, it'd be wonderful to have one of those fancy Easton made log splitters or there's the old hunting truck there we're gonna be firing that up before too long because uh, hunting season is coming on or one of those uh, Wolf Ridge log splitters would be wonderful but uh, um, that's not in the budget so we'll have to do that uh, in later years as a goal but let's get this thing running here and let her warm up and then we'll see if we can do some splitting well it hasn't it hasn't run in a couple weeks warmer right now but it has been fairly cold probably around 15 degrees around here for an average so I don't know if this thing will start very good or not but we'll find out
Well, thanks for watching, guys. I got some more splitting to do. Um, she may be old and uh, cheap and and struggle, but it still gets the wood split. So I just got to work at it a little bit. It's kind of pretty tonight out as the, I think dusk is coming on. But thanks for watching. Hit uh, like and subscribe if you want. And if you would, give me a comment on what you think on that ash troll. And should I be using it? I, I think I should. But how much can I get away with using? I don't want to damage anything. Let me know. Thank you.